This is Betty Hughes for CDX Technologies, and we're going to show you a couple of special functions in Excel that you can use for looking up zip code information. Let's start by just right-clicking on any cell and using the drop-down menu to pick a function called CDX Find Zip. And then we can just pick any city and state we're interested in. So let's pick California, then Aberdeen, and we can see the correct zip code returned to the original cell in the worksheet. If we look at the formula bar, we can also see that the cell contains an equation with the find zip function. This is just like any other function in Excel you may have used before, like average or sum. But in this equation, we have the name of the function, CDX find zip, followed by the names of the city and state. Now this is all well and good, but it's easy to look up a single zip code like this using just the post office website. The nice thing about Excel, though, is that we can do this sort of zip code lookup for lots of data, lots of city and state pairs, pretty quickly and easily. So let's try this in another worksheet. Here we have a pretty long list of zip codes we're looking for. So we're just going to select a cell in the first row and input the find zip function. But instead of using the city and state names, we're going to use the cell location of the city, cell A2, and the cell location of the state, cell B2. And that returns the first zip code. Now for the easy part, we just copy this cell and then paste it along the rest of the list. And we can see the zip codes being returned for all the city and state pairs. In this case, where there are more than one zip code for a city, all the zip codes will be listed and separated by a vertical line. Now let's take a look at the reverse situation in this worksheet where we already have a list of zip codes but we need the city and state information. We pretty much follow the same procedure from before but in this case we'll use the function CDX zip code. We'll use the cell location of the first zip code cell A2 and then we specify we want the city name returned. In the next cell, we do the same thing to get the state name. And then we just copy and paste these cells to return all the city and state data for the list. So these are just a couple of the functions available for handling zip codes in Excel. If you'd like more information or would like to download a free demo, please go to www.cdxzipstream.com.